Hi everyone, this is Dom is Live. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys two pretty cool tricks in one video. Now, with that being said, be sure to hit that sub button because I upload daily GT5 videos two times a day. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to wear your helmet on your hand. And this essentially can be called the boxing glove glitch. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that as well. I'm going to show you guys a secret door that you guys will be able to view in GTA 5. So first thing first, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. And it's going to be a link in the description that's going to explain where I got these glitches from. So let's get this started. First things first, to do the boxing glove glitch, you guys will need a motorcycle or a vehicle that is very similar to a motorcycle, such as an ATV. Then from there, you guys want to stand on the side of your motorcycle or ATV. You guys want to hold the back button if you're on the Xbox 360 or the select button on the PlayStation 3. Then you guys want to go to inventory. After that, you guys want to go to accessories. Then you want to select the helmet that you're going to wear on your hand as well. You want to also make sure that auto helmet is on on. Then from there, you guys want to get on your bike. From there, you're going to see an animation where your character puts his helmet on his head. Once you guys see that, get off of your bike, walk away, then proceed to get back on your bike. As you're getting on your bike, your character is going to take his helmet off his head and hold it in his hand. Once you guys see the animation, make sure you rapidly hit the Y button on the Xbox 360 or the triangle button on the PlayStation 3 and your helmet will remain in your hand as you guys can see here. And we call this the boxing glove glitch. Now I will say this, it is pretty difficult that I've seen to punch with your left hand. Usually your character always goes with the right hand first, but there is a way for you to be able to punch with your left hand. So the first glitch I showed you guys was the boxing glove glitch, which is definitely a funny moments glitch. If you guys are into funny moments, that would be a pretty cool glitch to use. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you guys is going to be this crazy, mysterious door that is behind this wall. I guess you guys can somewhat call it a glitch or an Easter egg. It depends on what you guys want to call it. You can call it whatever you want, but let's get this started. So the first thing I can say about this secret spot is that you guys can toss sticky bombs to the wall, but make sure you're careful. You do not want to get too close because as you guys can see here, my fate lied right there. So this spot is located right outside of Michael's house for the people that are new to GTA 5. Now, as you guys can see here, we're going to shoot right in the middle of this wall. And guess what? It's not creating an outline. And the reason it's not creating an outline is because there is a mysterious door on the other side. As you guys can see here, we're shooting the outline of the door and it's creating a perfect outline. Now, there's been other YouTubers that have speculated that this is some kind of DLC or high store. I'll leave you guys to speculate in the comment section below. What can be behind this wall? I have no idea. But me personally, I believe that maybe there was a door there at the beginning beta stages of GTA 5, but Rockstar said, oh, nah, this door does not look right. Let's remove this door. And I think that is quite possible what happened. Rockstar had plans to have the door there, but they felt that it did not go with the full game so they decided to remove the door but like I said other people were speculating that this is some kind of high store or maybe there's some kind of money behind this wall who knows you guys can let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this as well be sure to let me know in the comment section below do you guys like longer videos like this where I give you guys two tips or two glitches in one video instead of one and anyway this is Thomas Live and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another GTA 5 video